Well, if I didn't throw in my train joke, of course, that would, you wouldn't let me out of here. That's my favorite sound. Anybody ever heard me do my train? Yeah, I like my train. It's about a guy who's gonna take a trip from Washington, D.C. to Philadelphia. Now the train goes through Philadelphia and goes on to New York. Fine, that's okay. But he's a very tired man. He climbs aboard the train, tells the conductor, he says, please, he says, this train stops in Philadelphia, that is my home. He says, now I must get some sleep. He says, I'm gonna sit here, lean against the window, get some sleep while the train moves along. He says, when you get to Philadelphia, will you wake me up and get me off the train? And the conductor says, oh, absolutely, absolutely. We'll make sure you get off the train in Philadelphia. Just fine, I'm going to sleep. So he sits down and the train builds up the steam. Now this is the old locomotive. I like that one, it's a little bit more romantic. <laughs> gonna be a biggie. It's gonna be a whopper. Oh, oh, no individual applauding. You either applaud with the rest or get out. I heard that. Like that little old woman in the commercial. I heard that you've got a chest cold. <laughs> train. <laughs> well, what are you laughing at? It's either that or drop dead. <laughs> and besides, I like this sound. I know it better than anybody else. And I should. I was in the Navy eight years, seven on trains. Oh, they finally found me. <laughs> they put me on a ship that was called an LST, Large Stationary Target. <laughs> it was dirty, but anyhow. <laughs> now, if you know anything about trains, if you've ever been around a train, here's a sound you'll never forget. large. Now, the train is zipping right along. Remember the fellow who got on the train who wanted to get off in Philadelphia? He's leaning up against the window. The train's moving right along. He's sound asleep. Let's hear people going between the cars. You know, when you open the door, you pass from one car to the other. Now the train pulls into the station up ahead and as it pulls into the station, of course, it cuts off its power and from the sheer weight of the engine itself, the momentum just carries it right on in. If I didn't have to stop for air, I could be a freak. Thank <laughs> you.
is where the fun starts. Remember the guy asleep? Wakes up, takes a look out the window. It's not Philadelphia, it's New York. Oh, is he mad? He jumps up, screams past the conductor. No, he doesn't. He stops right at the conductor and he hauls off and biffs him one right in the face. Gets down on top of him, backhands him. Gets up and stomps off the train. Boy, was he mad. Conductor's lying in the aisle, rubbing his chin. One of the, one of the passengers sitting there looking down at the conductor and says, man, was that guy mad? Conductor looks up and, and he says, you think he was mad? You should have seen the guy we threw off in Philadelphia if you want to see somebody mad. <laughs>